Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? I pray that everything is beautiful as you, and the good Lord has been looking after you in Jesus' name. Amen. May he continue to look after you and shine his face upon you. Amen. Welcome to this Loving Jesus program. Our topic today is Let God Rule. Let God Rule. I want you to know that you've been suffering, you've been struggling on your own. And I say that it is time God is asking you to leave everything for Him. Stop struggling. Stop struggling to make things to happen on your terms. Dictating things the way that you want. God wants you to leave everything for Him. God wants you to leave things for him so that things will happen on his own terms. Let God rule. Let God rule. All you have to do is ask God for wisdom. For Bible says that if we have wisdom of God, we will be able to excel in whatever we do. Without God's wisdom, we can do nothing. So today, if you do not have wisdom, ask God to give you wisdom. And God will give you, bless you with wisdom. You need wisdom. You need wisdom of God. Let God rule. Let God rule in your life. Don't dictate to God what to do. Don't tell him what to do. Don't tell God what to do. God's, God's life is for those who have trusted him. For those who have had faith in him. That is those that God will give his life. God's life is not in vain. He cannot give you life where you cannot be able to do right thing. When you ask God's wisdom, He'll give you wisdom. You'll be able to know your left from right and right from left. You know what is wrong and what is right. You need God's wisdom to, to excel. You need God's wisdom to do the right thing every time. Without God's wisdom, everything will scatter. Everything will scatter. My dear sister, my dear brother, we need God's wisdom in this challenging time, in this difficult period. Let us read what Proverbs 3 says to us. Proverbs says, said, that is Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. So I don't know why people should be leaning on their own understanding. Try to work things out themselves. When you have a big God who works things out for you. When you have a big God who will plan for you and do things that will please you and do things according to his, his plans for you. Why do you have to struggle and go to the extent of dictating things for God, doing things on your own terms? That is not of God. That is not righteous of God. You need to allow God to come into your life. It's good your plans. It's good your business. And carry it out and give you victory. All you need is just trusting God, having faith in God. That is where it's yes and amen. The Bible says the word of God is settled in heaven. Let it settle in your heart, settle in your business, settle in your ministry, settle in what you are doing. If God is in what you are doing, you don't need to struggle, my brothers and my sisters. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. Do not lean on your own knowledge. Do not lean on your own ability. Do not lean on your own capability. Do not lean on your own strength or your own power. Do not lean on your own intelligence. Do not lean on your own wisdom. Only God's wisdom will prevail in your life. Only God's understanding will prevail in your life. If it's not God's will... And you are doing all those things. You are in vain suffering yourself. You are in vain suffering yourself. It is high time you come out of it and ask God to come and help you. Verse 6, Proverbs 3, 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. If you acknowledge God, why will he not direct your path? Why will he not lead you? Acknowledge him. He will direct you. He will lead you. He is the maker of all things, God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for him? He asked Abraham. There's nothing too hard for our dad. There's nothing too hard for him. 
We are the one making things to go wrong in our lives. When you hand everything over to God, He will do it for you. He will do it for you. Because there's no one like Him. There's no one like God Almighty. Stop doing things by yourself. Proverbs 4, verse 7 said, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. I read it again. Proverbs 4, 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Without wisdom of God, your business, your ministry, your families, your marriage, everything you're doing will be in vain. But when you get God's wisdom, God's understanding, Things will begin to fall in the right places. Because if you put Jesus Christ in, in, in his right place in your life, everything will begin to come to positive answers. Everything will begin to work well for your own good. Everything will begin to perfect his own way. Because God has ordered your steps. God is the one directing your path right now. Let the word of God be. A lamp unto your feet. And let his word be a light unto your path. Do not struggle anymore. Cast all your cares unto Jesus because he cares. First Peter 5, 7. Cast every problem, every situation, every sickness, every disease, every confusion, whatever you have, cast it unto God. There's nothing too big for him. There's nothing too small for him. He'll handle everything and he'll make everything perfect for you again. So stop struggling by yourself. For our God is a good God. He's holy and he's glorious and he's beautiful and he's awesome and he has the greatest power on earth. So trust in him. He will never fail you. He will never let you down. In Jesus' name, amen. I've trusted in him. He has never let me down. Since I started walking in the ways of God, everything has fallen into the right places. And then I'm now glorifying God. I want you also to start glorifying God because very soon, if you begin to trust God and have faith, God will begin to make things to perfect in your life. You begin to make things to work wonders in your life because He's a God of miracle. He's a God of power. The Bible says every power belongs to Him. Every authority belongs to Him. So there's nothing God cannot do. There's nothing He cannot do for you. With God, all things are possible. According to Luke 1, 37. With God, all things are possible. With men, all things are impossible. But with our God, everything is possible. So believe God. He is a God that is amazing. Wonderful, glorious. There's no one like him. In Jesus' name, amen. Put all your trust in him and he will never let you down. He will never disappoint you. He has promised he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will be with you 24-7. In Jesus' name, amen. Who is like unto thee? Oh God, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Among the gods, who is like unto thee? Among the tiny, tiny gods, who can we compare with you? Glorious in holiness and fearful in praises, doing wonders. Hallelujah, always do you wonders, hallelujah, always, 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 always do you miracles, hallelujah, always, always, always do you wonders in your life and in my life, hallelujah, amen. If you believe and trust in God, He will do wonders in your life. He's done it for me, He will do it for you. He did it for Jabez, He did it for Jacob, He did it for Daniel, He did it for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He will do it for you. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changed. He's unchangeable God, and He will change you and transform you and restore you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. I'm running out of time now. And I hope you have been blessed, you've been empowered, you've been inspired. May God inspire you to sing a new song unto Him. It doesn't no matter how your voice is. He's a powerful and good God. He receives his people because they say when you sing, you're praising God and you're so praying at the same time. Sing unto him because he gave you the body, he gave you the 
voice. You don't have to go and borrow any voice to sing unto God. Sing to him. He will love you and he will like you more because he doesn't eat your rice or bread. God bless you, darling. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Almighty God. Amen.